My name is Kristen Brown and I'm an artist from Zanesville, Ohio. I have had my art studio at the Masonic Temple for five years now in room 406. I am also the art cause president of Zanesville. That's the artist colony of Zanesville. And this behind me is Baker Mayfield because <laughs> my husband is a huge Browns fan. So we got him hanging out with us for this video too. I'm going to share a little bit of my artwork with you that I have made. This is a lady and she's also a guitar and she makes her own music and finds her own happiness with herself, within herself. This is a giraffe. I really love to paint animals. And this is a peace sign because life is all about kindness and making things peaceful and being guided with your heart. And this is my love of dinosaurs. You don't usually see dinosaurs kissing, so I thought this would be fun. <laughs> and this is a fun pet portrait that I did of a little doggy, and they wanted to be wearing a fun hat. I really enjoy doing pet portraits. I do a lot of those. So today, I'm going to be doing a watercolor class with you. And it is sponsored by Muskingum County Library System. So thank you guys so much for having me do this. Behave yourself, Baker Mayfield. <laughs> so to start off, first you're going to need a sheet of watercolor paper. You could also use cardstock or cardboard if you want to cut cardboard. I have a piece that's 5 by 7 and that's so it can fit in a frame when you're done with it. And those frames are inexpensive too, and you can find them at the dollar store, dollar general. You'll also need a watercolor palette. And I'm going with this one because it's simple, it's inexpensive, so everybody can get that. You can also find this at the dollar store, family dollar. And it just has the basic colors that you'll need. And then you'll need a pencil. It doesn't have to be mechanical. I just like mechanical pencils. And you'll also need a brush. I like to have at least two cups of water with me, just in case one gets dirty, so I have an extra one. And it's good to have a paper towel around too, just to clean off your brush every so often, because you don't want the colors to mix unless that's what you're going for. And you also, it's nice to have something to go underneath your piece when you're doing your picture so it doesn't go all over the table. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to draw. And since it's springtime, I thought it would be fun to do a sunflower. That's my favorite flower. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a circle on the page. Closer to the top, but not too high up because it will cut your petals off. The next thing is we're going to start drawing in the petals. And the petals are a little bit like a teardrop shape. And we're going to use those to go all the way around. I live downtown, so the church bells are going off right now, and they're really pretty. It's one of the perks of living downtown and living close to my work. So now I have the petals all around. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the stem. Where the stem starts, it's a little bit larger. And then it gets skinnier once it goes down to the bottom. So you'll start off a little bit thicker in here, and then you'll come down and make it thinner. 
the next step is going to be the leaves. And the easiest way to make a leaf, especially for sunflowers, is to make a heart shape for the leaves. And with the heart shape, you'll put the heart, the two top parts touching on the stem, and then the points will be out. And then what I like to do also, if you happen to have a black marker or a black colored pencil, what you can do is you can go over your pencil line with that and then it will look really nice with the watercolor instead of showing your pencil line. So you'll just trace it over all of the pencil line with that. And if you don't want to do that part, that's perfectly fine. You can just leave it as a pencil lines. It's completely up to the individual of what they want to do. I really like having a black outline on my pictures. I feel like it frames the picture and makes it pop more with the contrast of the black and the colors. So I usually use that. But everybody's different and everybody has their own style. And then if you didn't trace over perfectly, it's not a big deal. Just wait until the pen is dry or the marker and you can just erase where the pencil line is that you can see. what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint. And this is what I have so far. I've gone over the pencil lines with the black marker. So the first step we're gonna do is you need to get your brush wet. So you're gonna have your water cup close by. And we are going to start with the middle of the flower first. So first we're going to use the brown. So you're going to want to get the brush nice and wet and then also get the watercolor nice and wet. So you don't want to have it dry, you want to have it pretty liquefied. And then once you have it nice and wet, and then I usually go around the outline of where I want to paint first so I don't go out of the lines. And then I work my way in. So then it looks like this. Next step is going to be going to the petals. So first we're going to use yellow, so you're going to wet the yellow. And then once you wet the yellow, I'll start in on the yellow petals. I find it easier just to start right where the brown is and then go work your way all the way to the end and do it in strokes like that. Just so you can see a little bit closer what I'm doing. And so you'll want to fill all of those up. And you'll want to keep getting your brush wet every time because you don't want it to be dry on the paper because that could also rip the paper. And 
And sunflowers have always been my favorite flower. There's been times or places I've lived and I've planted them and they've grown as tall as my house, which is awesome. They're very wild and free. And once you plant them, they definitely take on a mind of their own. So once you have it painted all yellow on the leaves, we're gonna add just a little bit of orange in the middle of them. So you're gonna wanna water down your orange. And you'll take the orange and you'll just go right down the center and kind of just make playful lines. Let me show you a little bit more of what I'm doing. So you'll do playful lines like this. And that kind of just gives it a little more color. And they don't have to be exact or perfect straight lines because most sunflowers are not like that anyway. So there it is with the orange added. And then the next step we're going to do is we're going to go to the stem. So you're going to want to get the green. Water down the green real nice. And then I usually start up by the petals. And you don't want to go too close to the yellow petal because you don't want it to bleed in together. But if it happens to bleed in together, what you can do is you can take your paper towel, just have it wet a little bit and you can dab it and it will clean it right up for you. So you're taking the green and just starting from the top and going all the way down, just like this. And then I usually start at the tip of the heart leaf and then go all the way down. And then you can get a little bit of the yellow. Just kind of touch on the leaf a little bit, just add a little extra color. Maybe up in here too. And it just gives it a little more color. And then you can go back to the orange and go up to the middle of the sunflower, the brown part, and just go around the outside of it just to kind of frame the brown and give a little bit of a pop to it. this. Then you can also just do some little dots in the middle with the tip of your brush and you don't have to keep on dipping it. You can just use the parts from the orange from when you just did the middle part and keep dabbing it like this. And the next part is going to be the background, to the sky. So you're going to want to get your blue nice and wet. What I like to do is I like to leave a white line 
around the subject that I'm painting. So then it gives it breathing room and it also makes it pop out more. And I do that in a lot of my paintings. So how you're gonna do that is you're going to leave a little bit of space, a little bit of white around. So what I do is I go around and I outline first, right around here, and then I'll go back in and paint the background. We want to go around the whole thing. And if it's touching in a spot, that's okay too. It's all just about having fun. And if your blue happens to touch on your flower too, a little trick you can do if you don't want that white to, sh or if you want the white to show all the way through, is you can get a little bit of white acrylic or tempera and just touch over where that watercolor is if you can't get it to come off. That's just a little, uh, little cheat for you. So we're just going all around the petals here. All the way around. And then once you go all the way around, you'll start coming from the line that you did. And you will go from here and just paint over. And you'll just keep doing that until you get up to the top. So we'll do that part next. And you'll want to keep getting your brush wet too. And I like to leave a little bit of white too at the end of the paper. And it kind of gives it a floaty sort of look. But it's up to you if you want to take it all the way over to the edge. Just keep going around. So this is what I have so far. And I just keep going from here and going all the way over. And then when you get to the top of here, you'll go across here. And I just do line strokes all the way over to the side. This is what we've got so far. And then you'll keep going. Painting really helps me with stress and helps calm me down a lot, especially in hard times like we're in right now. Art really helps a lot. So I hope that it helps you too, painting. And just keep 
keep going with the blue. And then, all done with the blue. And so this is the watercolor. And then down here, it gives you room that you can sign your name. And then once it dries, you can put it in a frame and give it to a friend or keep it for yourself. Thank you so much for taking this class with me. And stay positive and safe. Keep making art and don't forget to be kind. Thank you so much. Have a good day.